Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And today we have a beer from Shorts Brewing. This is called Psychedelic Cat Grass. This is a 7.6% ABV and 72 IBUs. This is a American IPA. Right up Jessica's alley. I bought it. <laughs> but this was the... Um, Bottle, ship, drink, all yeah. the same day. Package was 6, 8, 17. Well. Yeah. I could be wrong. Oh, let me look at that again. Is it 8, 9, 17? I'm guessing. 8, 9, 17. <laughs> Since it was last yeah. Wednesday. It's okay, Brad needs contacts, but he won't wear them. So, pardon him. <laughs> That's not bad color, though. Nope. Label's kind of cool, like a uh, psychedelic It's thing. not. It has cats on it. Yep. Ugh. A triple dry hopped America India Pale Ale. It's a nice color, though, so it might be okay. Right. So, off-white head, tannish head, uh, small bubbles, a couple medium, a finger and a half of head. Color is a straw color. Golden. I would say yeah, golden. golden. Mm -hmm. uh, hazy. Hazy. Uh, you must have the bottom because yeah. mine's clear. Yep. I can see hazy. through it. A couple bubbles coming up. Not very many though. Let's go ahead and get a smell. That was awful. <laughs> it Citrus, like a pine. Typical, yep. Typical. A typical IPA yeah. with pine. Yep. Totally, I'm totally, I'm not even getting citrus, actually. I'm getting pine, just pine yeah, heavy. There, it's citrus, pine, more on the pine heavy side. Pine. Mm. A little bit of fruit. Maybe some malt. But I'm not I smelling still alcohol smells like. or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get a drink. It's bitter. Yeah, a little. I'm getting a little bit of citrus up front, a huge pine bomb in the back. Bitterness stays. It stays on your tongue. But I don't taste alcohol. Yeah, no alcohol. Malt, a tiny bit there to me. Like there's a little bit of malt. I still have the shivers when I drink it though. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. I expect it to be heavier. But, I mean, with the color, I guess I wasn't expecting it yeah. to be as heavy. I guess I should have just said that. But it's it's not awful. I kind of want to scratch my tongue. <laughs> like, from a 1 to 5. 5 being I want to really scratch my tongue. I'm thinking it's like a 2. It's it's not horrible. No. I would I would go with a 4. Okay. I don't know that it's fair that I rate any IPAs, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, there's been seven, th as of this review, uh -huh. there's been 7,000 ratings. Okay, what they give it? And the average is a 4.11. Okay. Um, three of my friends have rated it. Mostly Michigan Beer Reviews gave it a 4.75. Kyle, so almost a perfect beer, really? Yep. Kyle V gave it a four. Well, I mean, I don't think it's... It's just, for me, I think it's weird that it's... Or, or maybe it's normal for an IPA. I don't know. Whatever. It, it stays on my tongue. The taste of that is not going away. Yeah, the Definitely. aftertaste yeah. stays there. Um, if you're big into piney IPAs, you'll probably score it higher. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I like, I like my IPAs on the fruitier citrus side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, again, if you're new to our channel, we rate them on what we think, not what like the what it should be, what the JCP says it, you know, should be for that category. Yeah. Um, it's mostly this is what we score it because it's our opinion. Yeah. It's our opinion. It's so, our opinion. 
So take it with what you want, but citrus fruitiness on that side is me. So the New England IPA stuff like that. And I don't like IPA, so I'm going to come, so I shouldn't <laughs> even score them. But, yeah, I, w I would go with a four. Donnie and Rob would love this. I should get them each a bottle of this. And Matt. Yeah. Matt, Rob, and Donnie would love this because they love pine. Yeah. And this, yeah, you yeah, you like your citrus, tangerine, that kind of stuff, yep. IPA, but, um, eh. I think it was it was cool to try because, yeah, like what would psychedelic cat grass taste like, you know? Um, so, cool. Anyways, cool. So that'll finish up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.